Hey everyone, I'm Nick, and this is C++ from Scratch. So in this episode of the series, we're going to be talking about pseudo-random number generation. So something that we often want to do inside of programs is generate some random numbers. So this may be because we're, you know, simulating some sort of random process inside of our code, or maybe we just want to check, say, some function with some random number inputs. Now, fortunately, C++ provides a number of different ways to create these random numbers through our numerics library. So we're going to be looking at the basics of this library today and how we can, say, generate some random integers. So let's go ahead and get started, and we'll open up a new example here just called random.cpp. Then inside of here, we can include IO stream, so we can do some printing of these random numbers, and we'll go ahead and include this random header. That's where a lot of this random number generation code is defined. Then we'll go ahead and create a main function, of course, core of our C++ program. So let's say we want to generate some you know, random integers here. How can we go about doing that? Well, one of the most basic ways here is we can look down here and we've got this non-deterministic random numbers through our std random device. So if we go ahead and go to the CPP reference page for the std random device, it says that it is a uh, uniformly distributed integer random number generator that produces non-deterministic random numbers, right? So let's go ahead and uh, create right, an instance of this random device. So some std random device, we'll call rd. And then we can go ahead and you know maybe just print out some random numbers in a loop. So we'll say for int i is equal to zero, i is less than 10, i plus equals one. So for 10 iterations of this loop, we'll just std c out, print out a random number. So we can just add this call operator to our rd, our random device here. And then we'll print out each of these numbers separated by a space followed by a new line character at the very end. So we should see 10 random numbers printed out. Okay, so let's go ahead and save this and let's go ahead and compile and run this. So we can compile this with G++ and call our output executable, just something like random. And then we can go ahead and run this executable here. Go ahead and run this. And you can see we get some random uh, integral type numbers, so specifically unsigned integers. So we can go ahead and run this a few different times and you can see that we get um, some different results each time, right? So we're getting these non-deterministic integer random numbers being generated. Okay, now let's go ahead and go back to our, our page on the pseudo random number, uh, on the pseudo random number generation. And you can see that we're, we also have a number of different random number engines, right? So different ways in which we can generate these random numbers. So for example, we have these, uh, this linear congruential engine, this Mersenne twister engine, and this subtract with carry engine here. Now these different kinds, these different engines have uh, different characteristics in terms of the quality of random numbers that they make, uh, the, the characteristics of those random numbers, um, how much memory the random number generators themselves take up and how, uh, how quickly they can generate random numbers or their performance. So we have different trade-offs we have to consider when we're using these different kinds of engines. So a lot of times it depends on our specific task and application. But we'll just see how we can use, say, one of these engines today. So say just the Mersenne Twister engine. So let's go ahead and go back into our code and we can swap out this random device with our uh, Mersenne Twister engine. All right, so I'll pull up that page from CPP reference here. Okay, so let's go ahead and swap out RD here with now std uh, mt19937. So you can see we have these two different type aliases for this Mersenne Twister, this mt19937, and then mt19937 underscore 64 for 64 bit um, integer random numbers. Right? And we can just go ahead and call this say mt. So instead of a call to rd here, we can just re replace that with a call to our Mersenne Twister uh, random number generator. Okay, so that's the only change we really need to make here. So now we're using this Mersenne Twister engine uh, to generate these random numbers. Then we can go ahead and recompile random.cpp and we can rerun our code. You can see we get some, some more random numbers out here. Now, one thing that you might notice is if you swap out that random device for this Mersenne Twister engine and you run your program multiple times, you actually see that we get the same random numbers each time here. And that's often because these random number generators take some sort of seed as an input and it will initialize kind of the state of this random number generator. Um, and it can be used to get deterministic results across different runs here. So if you wanna make sure that across each run, you're getting the same random numbers, you can initialize it to the same seed every single time. So for example here, if we, you know, to our constructor for this Mersenne Twister here, if we pass a number like 49, right, as our seed, we can go ahead and recompile random 
right? And if we go ahead and run this, you can see that we got different numbers, right, as last time, but they're repeatable. So if we run this multiple times, you can see we get the same result each time here. So, you know, this seed can be very useful for reproducibility. However, if we still want to make sure that we get random numbers every single time we run this program, we can use something like our pseudo random device in combination with something like our Mersenne Twister. We can just use our random device um, to get a random number to use as our seed for our Mersenne Twister. So you'll often see that pattern used. So let's go ahead and try that out. So we'll create some std random device again, rd, and then we'll go ahead and use rd, right, this random device, to create a seed uh, for our Mersenne Twister, right? So we're initializing our Mersenne Twister with a random seed each, um, uh, each time we run the program. So let's go ahead and save this, and we can go ahead and compile random.cpp, and we can go ahead and run this executable uh, random, and you can see that now each time we get different random numbers out, right? Because we're initializing that Mersenne Twister with a random seed each time we run the program, right? So you'll often see this pattern used with the random number generators. Now, oftentimes we care more, uh, we care than we care about more than just you know creating some random numbers. Often we want to, we want to create these random numbers within some sort of distribu uh, distribution. So you can see down here that C++ provides a number of different random number distributions in which we can generate random numbers in. So we have uniform distributions, Bernoulli distributions, Poisson distributions. Uh, normal distributions, sampling distributions, right, and so on and so forth. So let's go ahead and see how we can use one of these distributions. So we'll just use this uniform int distributions. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at that page here. And we can see that this uniform int distribution produces random integer values i uniformly distributed on the closed interval between a and b. That is distributed according to, you know, this, probab this discrete probability function down here. Right, so we can set, say, a, a closed interval that we want to generate random numbers within, and we'll have them generated um, you know, based on this probability function. So let's go ahead and see how we can use this, say, <clears throat> this std uniform int distribution, but in combination with, say, um, you know, all of the other things we've looked at so far. So underneath the hood, we're still going to be using our Mersenne Twister um, that's initialized with a seed based on our random device, but now our Mersenne Twister will be generating numbers in some uniform int distribution. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, create this uniform int distribution here. So we'll create some std uniform int distribution, right? And we'll just call it, say, something like uniform. And then we can set the interval here, that a and b value. So we can say 1 to 6. So we want to generate numbers between 1 and 6 in a uniform distribution here. So now inside of my code down here, what I can do is I can make calls to uniform now so I can get... Uh, random numbers within this uniform distribution, but then I can pass it my Mersenne Twister here, right? Um, this random uh, number generator, right? Uh, this Mersenne Twister that we created based, uh, initialized with the seed. So now I'm going to generate this uniform int distribution using this Mersenne Twister random number engine. So let's go ahead and save this, and let's go ahead and recompile random.cpp and go ahead and run this. And you can see that we get these random numbers between uh, one and six now inside of this uh, uniform distribution here. So what we're basically doing here is kind of a classical example of rolling a die, right? So, you know, a die has six faces that have the numbers one through six on it. That's basically the random process that we're simulating here. Okay, so that's a little bit on how we can generate these different kinds of random numbers in C++. And, you know, as you can see from, say, you know, just this top level page for pseudo random number generation, there's quite a few different things you can get into here. So we'll go ahead and link this below the video, along with all the other pages that we looked at. And of course, you can find this and any of the other examples at github.com slash coffee before arch. So there's a CPP from scratch repository right on the front page. But that's going to go ahead and do it for today. As always, I'm Nick, and I hope you have a nice day.